Hi, Mr. Uckert here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to use CSS and the float property to create a uh, website with a sidebar. Okay, so we're going to start building an HTML file. We're going to go through that fairly quickly, and um, we're going to so we're going to create a new file in your text editor of your choice. Today, I'm using Notepad++, and I'm going to save the file as an index.html. I'll save it in this folder, CSS continued. Okay. So we're going to start off declaring the doc type as usual. Okay. And we're going to start with our HTML tags. And let's have, uh, declare the meta car set and the viewport you should get in a good habit of doing this or using something like Emmet to do it for you when you do your HTML files give it a title let's uh, call it more CSS um, and then We want to link in a style sheet. So um, we're going to type link rel equals colon style sheet colon type is going to be text slash CSS, uh, not colons, uh, quotations rather. So I have to put the rel, the relationship, the type uh, in quotes, and also the link. In quotes and I'm just going to do this on the same uh, in the same folder a lot of times I do something like CSS slash style dot CSS but just to keep it simple I'm going to do that just have it in the same folder okay and one thing I forgot to do I'm gonna hit control X and I want to put this obviously in the head of the document so now I'll paste it back in and you want to get in the habit of just tabbing it over to keep it nice and organized so other people can read your code. Then I'm going to type body, and in the body, we'll have you know, you'll have a header, and in the header, you'll have your title. Um, sorry, your heading one, which is like your title. Uh, so this is going to be creating a web page with a sidebar is basically what we're doing in this tutorial. Okay, so after that, I want to create some uh, HTML semantic tags, a main and also an aside. That's going to be for our sidebar and then also a footer, which is just going to be at the bottom. And we'll say something like a little paragraph like copyright. Um, you know, I just do the copyright symbol and then I'll do my name, think the younger, and probably put a year in here. Okay, so you have your, your copyright in the footer and you might have some other stuff in your footer, like um, if you built it out with the HTML, you might have some little widgets like your latest post and that kind of thing, um, especially if you're doing a blog. Okay, so the main, you might have something like an article and maybe even within the article, you have a couple sections. Okay, so you have a couple of those. Let's just maybe say three sections to your article. Okay, and so now we're gonna get some stuff to paste in there. So that's my YouTube channel, by the way. I was working on that, let me close that out. Um, so I'm gonna type lorem ipsum, and we're gonna get some paragraphs. I'm probably just going to copy the same paragraph. Let me just close that out. So I'm going to take, oops, copy some of those. And so within each section, I'll probably have a paragraph with, uh, you know, paste in that lorem ipsum. So let's just copy this. We'll do that a few times. Maybe we have within a section, we have a couple paragraphs, you know, maybe this section has two paragraphs, right? And then, you know, maybe this one only has one, 
And then I think I made four sections, but whatever. We're going to have a lot of sections to our article. Okay, and then, um, all right, so you got the title, you got the, the main part. Then in the aside, you might have something with like a HD heading like uh, about the writer. And then you might have a paragraph about the writer. So Timothy Unkert is a person who writes and posts stuff on the internet. Along with the many billion other people who do so. I don't know. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe something else, like um, maybe another paragraph here. Uh, oops, that has two paragraph tags. We don't want that. Let me delete that for a moment. We just, one other paragraph there. Uh, I don't know why that tabbed over so much. Okay, so we have that, and then you maybe have something like, like another thing, like latest posts, and then you have, um, you know, a list with, in your list, you have some link to something, right, and you have uh, latest post, I don't know, one, and then maybe you have like five of those of your latest posts, so one, or sorry, two, three, four, and five, so you have your latest post there. And uh, then maybe you have one more section, um, like archives or something. Archives, or if you have a comment section thing in there, and I'm just gonna do latest posts, I'm gonna copy that in for the archives, just to get give you an idea of what you might do. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got so far for this uh, web page. So I'm going to open the file. And so we've got, you know, we've got this title here. We've got this here. Um, we've got the sidebar stuff here, but it's all, you know, all on top of each other. So it's nothing is across the screen like you would see with the traditional part where the, the main part would probably be on the left of the screen and the sidebar would be on the right. Okay. So we can change that, though. And we want to create a style sheet. So I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to save the file as. And remember, we're saving it in the same folder. I'm going to save it as style.css, which is what we called it. Now, the thing about this is um, I'm going to open up this so I can see it side by side with my HTML. OK. So let's start with a few just basic things with the body. I like a font family of Georgia, and then maybe a backup of sans serif, okay? Um, so that's one thing we can change. Uh, I think the paragraphs should have a font size a little bit larger, 1.1 yeah. em, uh, and then a line height of 1.6, you know, something like that. And, you know, it's just kind of making the site a little bit nicer. A little bit better uh, spacing, so it's starting to look a little bit more modern. Um, now, maybe I want to give this here, this header, a class of center, and then I want to define it over here. I'm going to make a comment in my CSS for uh, text. Let's call it text align classes, just so someone else looking at my code can kind of figure out what everything is, and. You know, I start out with the best intentions with my CSS file, trying to keep it organized, and then as we go, it it, it kind of doesn't get that way. But um, okay, so I'm going to do a text align of center. So that's going to bring uh, oh, we got to save this. So I got to save my HTML file. Okay, so that's going to bring my my. Um, text here into the center and then maybe I want my I want all this stuff and I'm gonna actually let me switch back to the normal view here so I'm gonna move to the other view and I'm gonna go to my HTML file and maybe I want all this stuff here the main all the way 
way down with the aside. I want to put that in a div with a class of container 1000. So I don't want it to go all the way across the screen. I want to go a fair amount across, a thousand pixels across. And I just name them, you can name it whatever you want. But uh, so I'm going to paste that code back in there. Um, you could name it just container, you can name it something else. And I'm going to make a comment here container classes. And uh, we'll do dot container 1000. And we'll do a max width of that of a thousand pixels. Uh, a margin left. We'll type it of auto. And a margin right of auto. And let's get back this back to the other view. So we'll move it to the other view where we have both next to one another. And let's take a look. Okay, so now it brings it down a little bit. It, it kind of gives that little margin on each side. I like that. Okay. And so we have this, um, now this footer here too. I want to fix that a little bit. And in the footer, um, I want to have a horizontal rule to kind of break it apart. And then I want to give this a class of center too. And you'll see I define that class. So I can give it a class of center. And then maybe in the header two, I want the bottom to have a horizontal rule. Okay, and then let's take a look. Okay, so now we have that kind of split from the page. It's starting to look fairly nice. But now we want to get to the main part of the CSS tutorial, which is putting the main on the left and the sidebar on the right. Okay, so let's go up here and we'll do, um, we'll call this box alignment um, CSS. Okay, we're going to start with the main tag, and I want to float that to the left. So I'm going to say float colon left. Uh, I want to give it a width, and I want to do that as a percentage. I'm going to do 70% and a display of, let's do block. Okay, and then for the aside, um, I want to give a float of right a width of 25% and a display of block. Okay. All right, so now doing that, you see I have my sidebar set up. Okay. Um, but this footer is a little messed up because of the footer is going kind of into the sidebar a little bit. So that's okay. We can fix that very easily. And to do that, I'll do footer. Um, I'm going to give a width of 100% and a display of inline block. Okay. And you notice this little line is going to go away. Okay. So it went away and now the footer has that line there at the bottom and you've got your uh, web, web page with the main part and then the sidebar. Now, um, when you go to a smaller screen, it's still going to be that way. So we want to fix that. Okay. So to fix that, we're going to go down here and let's make a comment about media queries. Just letting people know that this is our media queries. And we're going to say at media and then in parentheses max width. Let's do 600 pixels. Uh, I don't need that semicolon there don't want it. Uh, and then we're going to tackle the main. And I'm going to say that the width is going to be 100%. And the float is going to be none. And I'm going to do the same with the aside. So the aside, the width is going to be 100%. And the float is going to be none. Okay. We're going to switch back here refresh the page. It'll look the same on a big screen. But now when I go to the small screen, you notice I don't have that sidebar. And where is the sidebar? It starts right below the main like it should. Okay, if you have uh, questions, leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope it improves your web development and design. Uh, have a great day. 
sehr.